So the question I always ask when it comes to providing training to individuals is are we really training people for subject mastery or just general knowledge? Subject mastery being a full command or understanding of a subject. Unfortunately, today, because as I mentioned, you get five days a lot of times with people, what you're getting is here's the basics, here's your certificate, I wish you the best of luck, I hope your OJT program is really, really good. We're not training guys to actually do their jobs. We're training to give them the basic knowledge of what they need to do to not hurt themselves. And we hope that the companies take care of them. The military is very different. As I mentioned, 16 weeks of school that I went to, they taught us to be subject matter experts. On submarines, I was fortunate. We didn't have computers back then. We didn't have iPads. We had tech manuals. And so you literally sat there and read tech manuals while you were underway. There was nothing else to do. You can only watch so many movies, you can only work out so much. Other than that, you had to become a subject matter expert. I know it's kind of taboo in the Gulf of Mexico, no one brings up the deep water horizon for obvious reasons, but the reality is, everybody used to say, well, that'll never happen. But then the perfect storm happens. You can't rely on that senior supervisor or that other department. When I was on that submarine, that space was mine. I had to own it. I had to know everything about it. I had to know how everything functioned. I had to know the front of the sub all the way to the back of the sub. I specialized in my space, but I owned that space. I've seen guys with 20 years in the industry in the discipline of sub C who cannot draw a basic control system. And the reason they, when they asked why is that important, I said, how are you gonna troubleshoot it if you don't truly understand how it works? Well, I get the schematic. But you should, you schematic, you should understand how exactly it works. Basics. I'm not asking you to, to replicate the schematic. I just want you to draw me the basic system. And it doesn't matter what you do. You could be in the, the plants. Draw for me the system. If I know that this isn't working, I know where I need to go look first. The reason I know that is because I know the system. And unfortunately for a lot of people, they don't know the systems. We've built people today to be parts changers. Don't troubleshoot it, it costs too much. Call, call one of the subject matter experts in the office. But what happens if I can't call the office? What happens if the phones are down? You have to be that subject matter expert each and every day. But if we're not challenging our crews and challenging the workforce, we're never gonna get to that level to where we're truly subject matter experts in our own fields.